Hey, Scott, catch. Whee! What's this? I don't know, man. Some dude said he'd give me 20 bucks if I gave you that and say you're served. Served? Yeah, I don't even know what that means, but I know I got 20 bucks and I'm gonna go buy some Pokemon cards. Later, Square. What the heck, man? I'm being sued by my shoulder? You darn right I'm suing you. I'm tired of getting beat up. What the heck are you suing me for? Are you really asking that? For abusive working conditions. You can't sue me, we got the same body. Not for long. I found a surgeon that's gonna fix that. You can't do that. You may be right, but now you are gonna feel some recoil. You know what? Today I was gonna take it easy on you. I was gonna shoot a 22. But you know what, now I'm mad. And now, we're gonna shoot four more today. All right, let's talk about this. Let's see how you like that, big guy. Ah! Why did the grizzly bear wear a vest? I don't know why. It was because he had the right to bear arms. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And just a few videos ago, we shot a grizzly bear with several different handguns that would be used for bear protection. And now today I have three more of these ballistic dummy labs replicas of grizzly bears and we're gonna see what happens when we hit them with some of the largest rifles in the world, including the four bore. So these are made by Ballistic Dummy Labs. They have lifelike flesh, bones, have green blood, and are supposed to be the equivalent to a small grizzly bear. Today, I do not have any common rifles. I just have really big, big guns. And this is the smallest of the big guns that I brought today. This is a CZ 550 chambered in 416 Rigby, and I'm gonna be using a 350 grain hot core. This is not made for penetration, but I still think we're gonna get great penetration. But what I'm really hoping for is some energy transfer. Okie dokie. First shot of the day. It's gonna be a big one. Here we go. Oh my gosh! So I was hoping to get more than one rifle per bear head, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, that was extremely energetic. There are pieces of the bear skull absolutely everywhere, and I don't know if there's much bear left to even shoot with the, uh, the next rifle. You know, let's just shoot it anyways. So we are really stepping it up. 416 Rigby was pretty eventful, but this guy is packing a lot more power. This is my A-square 577 Tyrannosaur, one of only 24 in the entire world, and I have a 577 T-Rex 650 grain soft point. There is barely enough bear left for this next shot. All right. I'm about to get kicked. Oh my gosh! That was pretty eventful, wouldn't you say? I did not tell you, but I filled the bear head with a two liter of soda because we did a lot of damage with the 416 Rigby and we still managed to do a lot of damage. That's rather disgusting. Oh, 
It looks like a Demogorgon now. It's just like blah, 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 blah. Anyways, looks like 416 Rigby and 577 Tyrannosaur would be great options for bear protection. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of slide that off the table. And I'm gonna go get another one. Oh, I failed to mention that these things weigh like 75 or 80 pounds. I mean, I can barely carry it. So we have a fresh grizzly bear and another giant rifle. This is my bolt action 600 overkill. And it indeed is overkill. This thing is throwing a 900 grain soft point at 2200 feet per second. That is a lot of energy. So much so, I don't know if there's gonna be much of that bear left for the next rifle. This one's gonna hurt. Oh! Holy cow! We may have got some pretty good penetration on that one. Maybe not as much expansion. So it looks like Mr. Grizzly got hit right here on the nose and it went completely through. You can see there's a pretty big wound channel through here and then came out the back. And this is why I decided to use soft points today. I know that with a brass solid, we would zip right through this thing. So with our soft points, I was hoping to get penetration and expansion and that is exactly what we are getting. So now let's move on to the next big ridiculous rifle. 600 overkill is a gigantic rifle and there's not many guns out there that will make it look small, except for this one. This is one of only a few in the entire world. This is a 700 BMG and it is absolutely massive. I mean, look at this bolt. It is huge. When it comes down to it, this is basically a 50 BMG on steroids. This is the 700 BMG. It is a 1000 grain, 70 caliber bullet, and it's gonna be delivering a lot of energy. Also, uh, I decided to scoot up a little bit, you know, just for fun. <laughs> All right, Ugh. here we go. Oh, oh, it kicked so hard. <laughs> Let's inspect. It appears that we did a lot of damage. I mean, we broke up a lot of bone. It was literally raining bones there for a little while. And we've traveled all the way through and came out the back right there. 700 BMG is not playing around and it kicks like an absolute mule or a bear. Ugh. All right, got another bear head here. Ugh. So now the moment we have all been waiting for, I have a fresh grizzly bear set up and I have the four bore rifle. This is a Christian firearms, single shot falling block, four bore rifle. It is one inch in diameter, weighs over 20 pounds and is gonna be producing over 200 pounds of felt recoil. It is the largest shoulder fired rifle you can get. And it fires this, a one inch projectile that weighs 2,150 grains and is gonna be kicking out over 10,000 foot-pounds of energy. Basically, she be kicking. And if you wanna know a little more information about this four-bore rifle and four-bore rifles in general, you need to swing over to my Kentucky Ballistics Breakdown channel. I just posted a video on this. I'll put a link to that in the description down below.
Oh, I tell you what, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more big, ridiculous guns like this four bore, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, all right, let's ride the lightning. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I shot that. like a tuning fork <laughs> so judging from what I just saw I believe a four bore would be good for multiple bears uh, we hit this bear first and the slow-mo is very revealing uh, it expanded and delivered a ton of energy to this first bear and then went all the way through it you can see that is a massive wound channel then it continued on into bear number two he has already been damaged but still went all the way through it and then came out the back and then continued on i have a 55 gallon drum of water here i was hoping to catch it in but it looks like it went towards the burn yeah i'm probably not gonna find that one but that's okay though because we had some awesome results out of the four bore let me know what you would like to see me shoot with the four bore next in the comment section down below you never can be too careful you know only bears can start forest fires at least that's what they taught me in school i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Kentucky Customs, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>